Oh shoot, new, uh, new features in Unity 5. Quite a lot of them actually, it's a huge release. Um, one of the biggest things we're focused on is lighting. Uh, just to get that image quality up to, you know, photo reel. Uh, so we've got new image based lighting tools coming in. We've got a physically based shader, a new universal shader, which basically is gonna replace all of our shaders. Uh, just the lighting quality on it's amazing. We can do real time final gathering, real time reflection mapping, light maps, reflection probes all kinds of crazy stuff to increase your visuals. Uh, one thing we're actually showing here at the, sh at the show floor are 8K HDRI images running on a 4K monitor, pushing over 100 frames a second, doing image-based lighting on a very complicated scene. Uh, and all of that scales down to mobile, so I can build it to mobile, just like anything with Unity, build it on any platform, deploy it on any platform. So, uh, you know, I can see that same HDRI lit image on my phone, pretty amazing. Uh, some other stuff we have going, we have our new 2D system, uh, our new 2D, 2D colliders. Uh, we introduced uh, the 2D workflow with version 4.2, so we're expanding on that. Um, hinge constraints, uh, double-sided colliders, single-sided colliders, just some new stuff there. We have a new GUI system coming out, that's huge. Uh, that's actually coming with version 4.6, which is gonna ship, geez, in like a month. Um, so our users have been definitely clamoring for that. It's a whole revamp of how you make buttons, your user interface within the game. Uh, really some awesome features there. It's been very well received here at the show and previously when we've been showing it. So we're excited about that. And, uh, you know, getting back to five, that's going to ship here in just a few months, uh, hopefully by the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, you know, WebGL support, HTML5. So, you know, currently if you deploy to the web, you have to download the Unity player. Going forward with version five, you just go to the website and bam, there's your game, there's your product, there's whatever. No plugins to download, it'll just stream the content and it can use all that image-based lighting stuff, all that killer stuff in version five will be all there on the web. Um, geez, so much good stuff. There's new audio tools, the whole audio system's been enhanced. 64-bit uh, now, that's another huge one. So, you know, instead of running out of RAM <laughs> when you're making your game, you can now, you know, like those image-based lightings we got over there on, on the 4K system, those are like eight, 10 gig files. Um, so pretty slick to have 64-bit and uh, Matt could go on and on. There's so much stuff in version 5. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Unity3D.com. We have uh, some demos on there, a full uh, feature list with you know pretty much the entire list. And it is a lengthy list, so huge release. Uh, yeah, Unity3D.